Bye basement. Thank you very much for everything. Miss you. Hello my exciting Keiths, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names where each week we look into the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we are looking to the first name of Zhao. Zhao? I think I'm saying that right. It's up there. Zhao. I think I'm saying that right. I actually looked into how to say this one beforehand so I feel semi-confident on that one. Zhao. Zhao. Sounds good. Though before we continue I just want to say that by the time you are watching this video I won't be living here anymore. Um, this is the last video I'm recording in my basement. The Name Explained Cave. This has been my base of operation when Name Explained has come from where I've lived for the past two and a half years or so. And I'm gonna miss it here. Um, it served me so well. Um, hold on, did, I know it's just a white wall to you guys, but this actually is an entire basement, case in point there. So it's probably really annoying for Amber to edit this. Yeah, the entire basement is all kind of packed up now. Um, let me just re rearrange my camera quickly. There we go. Yeah, there's a whole basement down here. My uh, things here. There you go. This is a whole basement down here and it served me so well during this pandemic just as a place to work. I've made so many great videos down here. Had so many lovely memories down here. So, by basement. But we're moving on to bigger, better things. So, that's okay. I will miss it terribly here, but it's going to be fun where I am next. Don't you worry. I mean, it won't look much of you. It'll probably be another white background to you guys, but I'll be happier, I think. So, by basement. Thank you very much for everything. Miss you. Cool. And of course, I just want to say a huge thank to everyone who's become a patron in the most recent two weeks. So there's been a bit of a uh, production difference here recently. So there's quite a few patrons this time because it's about two weeks or so worth of patrons. But anyway, this includes Abby Waters, Vincio Ledesma, Bren, Atlas, Rose Orbach, Jeff Snyder, Jason Stalucky, Femby Ford, and Mary Fortney. Thank all you guys so, so much. Huge apologies if I mispronounced your name just then, and huge apologies if I forgot about you, but thank you so, so much. You make name explain possible. Yada, yada, yada. Go click on Patreon, link down below. You get the gist. But, but anyway, on with today's name of Xiao. Um, once again, I think that's how you pronounce it. I did check multiple times. I'm still probably saying it wrong, but at least I checked for once. This is, of course, a name of Chinese origin, and in its native Chinese uh, characters, it looks like this. And what's so, what, what I find so interesting about this name is that if you're a native English speaker like myself and don't know any other languages at all, this name probably sounds and looks incredibly foreign and alien. Like, how on earth can that be a first name? It looks nothing like our first names we have here in English. Yet, don't be scared because once we look into the meaning and origin of this name, it's actually an awful lot like many names we have here in English and in other uh, languages that use the Latin alphabet. This character in Chinese simply means autumn, like the season. And of course, autumn is a popular first name here in English as well. And this is what I just love so much about this. While it might seem so odd and foreign and different at first, it's just like an English name. Autumn, that's such a common English language name. I love it, I guess. Yeah, I do love it, yeah. Good stuff. I'm actually dressed quite autumnally at the moment with my orange and my dungarees, but that's just a coincidence. I just wanted to wear these today because despite it being summer, it's really cold outside and wet. Not good, not good team. Sort it out. And I imagine the reason autumn became a name in Chinese is for the same reason it became a name here in English because autumn is a very pretty time of year and it makes sense to give this pretty thing uh, a name to someone else because we like naming people after pretty things like how summer is also a first name as well winter and spring not so much but maybe we should change that this really does show us that once you start to research these chinese names they're an awful lot like the names we have here in english as well and i just really enjoy that however there are some differences between this name and the english name of autumn the english name of autumn is traditionally a female name however this xiao name in chinese is actually a gender neutral name boys and girls can traditionally be called zhao once again not sure if i'm pronouncing that right but i'm definitely not pronouncing it qui which is what i would have done if i didn't do any research at all so that at least at least there's some proof that i'm i'm doing some research i'm doing my best guys i'm doing my best i'm, I'm moving house at the moment things are pretty stressful right now what's also interesting is that this name and this sound this zhao sound can also be represented by a completely different character of chinese that being this character in particular this character not only looks different but has a completely different meaning and is also a first name too it means things such as hill slash mound this means if someone told you their name was zhao you wouldn't know if that meant autumn or hill slash mound until they actually like wrote it down 
which is really interesting, I suppose. I, I find it interesting anyway. This makes Chinese a language that has names that are homophones, and homophones are when two names sound the same, but are spelt differently and have different meanings, like bored as in being tired and uninterested, and bored as in like a big flat thing you write or play board games on. I think that's really cool, names that are homophones. Maybe we should do like a whole video on that, because I don't think English has any names that are homophones. I can't think of any names that sound the same but are spelt differently and have different meanings. But imagine if Jeff, J-E-F-F, -F, and Jeff, J-E-O-F-F, -F, had two completely different meanings. They don't, they're just different spellings of the same name, but kind of like that. If there are any English language homophones or any other names that are homophones, just let me know. Names that sound the same but are spelt differently and have different meanings. Tell me about them down in the comments below. That'd be, I'm, I'm really interested to hear about that. In regards to this name's popularity in the USA and the UK, well, I couldn't find it at all. Obviously, this is a name of Chinese origin, and I primarily made these names with a focus on uh, English language names. So I primarily focus on the UK and USA. However, this name isn't that popular there. Is it popular in China? I don't know. I don't know if you know about this, but China aren't too open with information. So I couldn't find like a list of the most popular like names in mainland China or anywhere for that matter in Hong Kong. Couldn't find anything about that at all. So, yeah, um, I don't know how popular this name is. If you know anyone with this name, let me know down in the comments below, of course. And of course, I couldn't find any video game characters with this name, which I thought I might be able to, but no luck there, I'm afraid. But I did find a famous Zhao. That was Confucius, the famous philosopher. He was actually born with the name of Zhao. However, his, uh, his name was the second, the latter character, which meant hill slash mound. I'm talking for too long. Let's move on. But anyway, that's just about everything you guys need about the name Zhao. But what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with this name? Are you called Zhao yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I just want to share some of the thoughts you guys had on not only last week's name of Percival, but the week before the name Olga. So let's start with Olga. Christopher says, him, Olga is the most Russian name. Also him, Olga comes from the old Norse Germanic Helga. Well, it technically isn't freaking Russian, is it? Well, yeah, my bad, it's not actually Russian, but you clicked, you commented, so thank you very much. Javier Figoloya said, super interesting video. In Spanish, Olga is a common name, especially for older generations. Maybe it's because names of saints are very popular in Spanish. That makes all the sense in the world. It's interesting a Russian name being popular in Spanish. I wonder if there was like a Spanish version of Olga or Helga. I thought that'd be more popular, but no, just Olga itself is doing just fine, I suppose. And Tom Harper said, Metal Gear Solid 2 is so weird, this ending has its own TV troops page. Yeah, I need to play that game again. Is it available on anything modern at the moment? But weird one, Metal Gear Solid 2. Perhaps the weirdest, and that's saying something. For the Metal Gear Solid series, saying one of them's weirder than the others, that takes the cake. And now for your comments about the name Percival, we're Nicky Monty saying, I remember reading that Jay and Barry came up with the name Wendy for his story Peter Pan. Yes, I believe that is true. Wendy does come from Jay and Barry and Peter Pan. People are making up names all the time. We talked about Shakespeare a few times, the names he made up, like Jessica and Imogen to a lesser extent. It, it's not a common thing for, uh, for writers to make up names and those names hit the mainstream. So is there really a thing? It hasn't really happened that recently. I've heard Eleven is starting to become a more popular name, so Become a writer, make up a name, and see if that name becomes popular. Challenge for you guys. You can do that while I'm away. Well, no, by the time you're watching this, I'm already going to be back. But make up a name for me and make it popular. Go. Emily Pan said, One of Albus Dumbledore's middle names is Percival. Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. Yes, there's another... Uh, Blah, 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 blah. Yes, there's another Percival in the Harry Potter world. Thank you for highlighting that for us. And Bogdan Mahai said, Monty Python and the Holy Grail is a great film. Yes, it is. Um, when I made that Percival video, I, I, I specifically instructed Amber to put as many Monty Python references, uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail references as she could in that video. And luckily she responded to me saying, I love that film too. Everyone loves the Holy Grail. I should watch that again at some point because it is a terrific film film. Though funny enough, despite all those references, there isn't actually a Sir Percival in the film. There's a Sir not featured in the film. Maybe that's Sir Percival. Let's go with that. Next week, we'll be looking to a name start with the letter R. And what name that will be exactly will be chosen in a poll exclusively for my patrons. So if you enjoy the channel, want to help support it and have a say in what names to explain, then please do go support on Patreon. You know the drill by now. Yada, yada, yada. Exclusive uh, content there. Link down below. R. Go find out down below. Go, go join if you can. Well, I say next week, it'll be a couple more weeks for me after me saying this. And when you see me next, I'll be in a completely different location. That's exciting. Name explain goes on the road. Well, just goes to a new location. Bye, basement. Gonna miss you. I know I said that a lot. I'm feeling quite emotional uh, recording this one. But here we are.
Anyway guys, that's more than enough for myself. I need to go start packing. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram, my name explain YT, and don't forget to join the Facebook group, Friends of Name Explain. Whew. Bye basement, take care.